got another one. When I wake up in the morning, I roll up in Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video will be a bit different to my usual videos. Usually I upload programming tutorials and reviews of my applications. Sometimes the occasional hack of Android applications or similar stuff like that. Anyway, today's tutorial will be on getting Fortnite for PC and installing onto a USB stick or a portable hard, hard drive. <coughs> the first thing you want to do is head over to epicgames.com and download the Fortnite game. And you can do that by going to www.epicgames.com forward slash Fortnite. The link will be in the description. Okay. Click get Fortnite. PC, Mac. Windows. This also works for Mac as well. You will just need to apply the same method of um, formatting of the USB stick, but only on a Mac computer. <laughs> So after the Epic Installer downloads, I'll cancel that because I've already got it. You want to plug in your USB stick, which is my Toshiba USB. And <coughs> okay. Um, People may say online it's impossible to install into your USB stick and that it doesn't work and they've tried multiple methods and it still doesn't work. It actually does work um, with minor modification as well. I'm surprised people didn't find this out already. As I'm a software engineer, I know, I know, I know quite a bit about this sort of stuff. And when I installed on the game onto another computer, I found out straight away why exactly it wasn't installing onto a USB stick. And that's simply because of the file system. When you first get a USB, it's by default formatted as a FAT32 file system, which means you can only store files 4 gigabytes and under. The the Fortnite game is actually much bigger than 4 gigabytes, so there's there's a few pack files of the, uh, uh, part of the game that are actually bigger than 4 gigabytes. This is why it doesn't work, and it constantly downloads and downloads and downloads and never ends. So you want to format your USB drive as an NTFS partition you want to change the allocation size to 8192 and you probably want to change the volume label to say Fortnite or something click start ok <coughs> and take a second by the way you must use at least a 32 gigabyte USB stick um, and preferably USB 3.0 as it would be as much better transfer rates so less lag, more smoother gameplay ok after that's done you want to go to your downloads and run the epic installer that we just downloaded from the site you install this to your computer so you don't change the installation path of this this is just a launcher so this is required to launch the game I'm sure I can figure out a workaround so it can be completely portable. I'm not too sure, I have to look more into it. <coughs> so guys, we're back and the installation is done. This isn't the actual game, this is just a launcher. Okay, we can go ahead and close our downloads folder. You can also close this as well, it's not needed. This is the final part of the installation. Um, well here you want to actually type in your um, Epic Games uh, email and password. If you don't have one you can go down here and click sign up. Um, I prefer to click remember me so I don't have to log in every time. But um, I'm going to pause the video in here and then I'm going to click sign in and I'll be back. So I'm back and I'm signing in. This is my um, Epic ID so if you want to add me on Fortnite feel free to simply add me. Okay now to install Fortnite this is all you have to do, you have to click install um, I prefer not to use auto update but you know that's everyone else's, everyone else's choice um, you want to change the installation folder to your Fortnite USB which is the USB we just formatted NTFS, set 2GB 
click select folder and then you want to click install now I warn you this is a really 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 lengthy process you'll be downloading 10.3 gigabytes in total and yeah it'll get quite um, quite heavy on the RAM and CPU so I suggest you keep your computer cool as well um, I'm not going to sit around and watch this whole download with you but I'll be back towards the end of the video Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, the verification process is almost done. If you had trouble following this guide, um, it's quite simple, but I'll leave a, a text, um, a, a detailed uh, instruction set in the description of this video, as well as links to download Fortnite and stuff like that. Um, also, next video, I'll be giving a, uh, I'll be giving away a PayPal gift card, a $50 one. So if you want to buy a V-Bucks, uh, just like, share and subscribe to my channel and comment on this video done. And the winner will be announced in the next video. Uh, notification process is just about done. Uh, this took ages. Took so long, the verification. Oh, it's done. Ah. Okay, now you can go ahead and click launch. <coughs> First bit may take a while. Um, it's just building the cache and getting all relevant files ready. Like I said earlier, I haven't uh, made this completely portable, this application, but I'm pretty sure I can probably just a matter of um, adding registry entries oh, oh, that did start, sorry there it is alright, to show you that this game is actually running off the USB and not my computer so I don't think it's a fake let's go here, let's go to Fortnite open file location look at that that's our local disk E, which is our U uh, USB properties. That's completely running off the USB. If you remove it, you are unable to launch the Fortnite game until you reinsert the USB. So I'll just show you what happens if you do remove it. Close this and we'll close Fortnite. Oh. Exit. guys having some trouble with everything. Let's just end the task. Alright, <clears throat> say for example we do take our USB stick out, like this. USB stick's now out. Click launch. You have an error. If you plug it back in, And click launch. You'll notice you're able to run the game. Come on. Takes its time to load up. So my computer doesn't have the best specs. It's only an i5 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's a laptop, believe it or not. There you go. Like I said, it's probably best to use a USB 3.0 um, USB stick. Probably 32 gigabytes is enough, but if you want to go ahead and get a bigger USB stick or um, external hard drive, go for it. Anyways, um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you next time.